Start a war on Bulgaria. Start the game. And we need to call Yugoslavia into this war, otherwise we are not able to attack Bulgaria. Because we need access from Yugoslavia. We are not going to use their units, but we are going to use their land for our offensive. Now the war tension increased to 20% when we declared this war. And we need to be careful that it does not go over 25%. Eh? Otherwise the UK will start guaranteeing Greece and Turkey. We don't want that. If uh, the... Okay, that's nice. If the war tension increases too much, uh, you will want to start these other wars before it gets to 25%. Now let me pause briefly, because I do want to start planning our naval invasion. So, couple to Athens, a couple to Tras. A couple to Kalamata. A couple to Corinthos. And a couple to uh, this, this region here. And here we're pushing fairly well. We even got an encirclement. You can just, you know, send some of these divisions straight to Varna. Seems like everything is going... Very smoothly here. It's just uh, a matter of time now before they give up. Always remember to keep an eye on the war tension, especially if you go for non-historical. You can follow the strategy in non-historical too, but the war tension is less predictable in non-historical. So we're trying to do this as early as possible, but in case the war tension is already higher, just start all of these wars at once. It's, it's a bit harder to hold the front, but by no means it is impossible. I'm going to take everything here. The war tension is still below uh, 25%, which is perfect because uh, it means uh, we will have some uh, extra time to uh, organize our divisions before we actually start the war with uh, uh, all of these nations at once. You can go and reinforce the front up here. You can start preparing at the border with Greece. Uh, then you need to do this manually because this time uh, I will not actually call Yugoslavia into this war. And by not calling Yugoslavia we don't have to worry about this border. So I find that actually more efficient. Send these divisions like these. As for these ones, uh, we'll try to push here. We are un unlikely to make it, uh, but you never know. If you take Istanbul early, it can be very beneficial. And although we have mountains up there, the Alpini can go actually down here, start the offensive on Istanbul as well. At this point we need to change the target of our airplanes to Greece. There's no point in delaying this uh, further. Let's get uh, naval superiority in these areas. And let's start our next set of wars on Greece and on Turkey. At the same time, very important that you do this at the same time. Romania will join because she uh, because they are guaranteeing them and if you don't do it at the same time the UK will start guaranteeing some of these nations because now the war tension is increasing by a lot. As for here everything is going fine. Let's see if they are defending Athens or not. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Of course it's better if they don't. I do want to take this region here as fast as possible. So we don't get uh, in this like bottleneck, we don't get stuck in here. It's not particularly important, but with the naval invasion it's better if you manage your uh, units individually a little bit just to take these territories, but it's actually very easy because they, as you can see, we're not encountering any resistance there, so it's totally fine. And we go for Fiocchi Munizioni and we will start lacking resources because we increased our uh, airplane production, so we need to import a bit more rubber. Let's just give a look to our buildings, uh, building queues. They're doing fine, but just in case, uh, let's start uh, adding infrastructures and production to um, Lombardia as well. Uh, up here everything is going uh, very well, and we did uh, get uh, Athens, uh, very happy about that. Uh, Greece is not giving up yet, but they don't have many units left. So. Now since they have Crete, and we are, I'm not going to bother going to Crete, uh, we do need to actually take uh, basically everything in the mainland, uh, otherwise they will not surrender. Okay, this is something that makes me very happy. We did uh, encircle a lot of uh, Turkish divisions. They are all going to die. 
Okay, actually I uh, did not notice that we have enough uh, for uh, political power for our war, uh, mobile warfare expert. We're going to assign him. How are we doing here? Here, I completely forgot about starting the collaboration government. Uh, that's not ideal, because we were already late with it. Still confident we can get it in time. Now, I do want to assign to start uh, with our mobile warfare doctrine. Uh, mobile warfare is my favorite. It's probably not the best. Superior warfare, uh, sorry, superior firepower is considered to be the best for defense and offense at the same time. But I like polarization uh, drive. I like maneuver warfare. We're also going to take uh, uh, this one here. And we're also going to take uh, uh, air doctrine cost. And we don't have enough for the next one yet, but we will soon. Now, Turkey can put up a bit of a fight, so them uh, having, uh, I don't know, five, six less units, it is going to make a difference. If we, if we can get uh, you and Nina, I think that will be the end. We did get it. Is it the end? It is the end. It is indeed the end. We're just going to take everything from Greece, including their fleet. We also finished a research up here, so let's take care of that too. For our research, we are going for um, artillery. Okay, and it may be time to reassign our units, but I'm kind of curious to see if we can get Istanbul first. So I will just give them some time, see if, it, if they can get to Istanbul. That part is fine. Oh, we did take Istanbul and we may take... Uh, I don't know, this is usually a bit harder, but we may take... Uh, Ismit, and that will be massive. That's, this is... Oh, this is huge. This doesn't always happen, and if it doesn't happen, it's still okay. It's, it's totally fine. I, I probably still will go for a naval invasion from uh, down here. By the way, the message that we got earlier say that we lost these islands. Uh, it's very difficult to keep them. They're part of Greece. After we, you end the war with Greece, you, you gain these islands, but they, they're bordering Turkey, and uh, there is a non-existent connection but they can walk there apparently so yeah now we can move our airplanes to Istanbul and assign them to the Turkish region now we're still a bit stuck here uh, let's see if we can push them now uh, you will start preparing a naval invasion of uh, actually I'll go for three divisions at a time and I will send them down here Try to spread them around a little bit just because uh, the attrition may be a bit high there. We're going to send a lot of units down here. Okay, we have one more slot for our naval invasion. You can go from Aidens. You can go here. They keep attacking us here, but that's not going very well for them. We have very low casualties. They have very high casualties. Okay, we finished with the Fiocchi Munizini. We have some free military factories. Uh, we can increase our uh, airplane production, airplanes production a little bit more. So maybe have uh, like three here and like, uh, I will start with five. Uh, and here we go for railways innovations. You can go a bit faster guys, uh, because uh, what's the point in waiting in the middle of Greece? Okay, that's uh, good. We got two more slots for our research. Um, now we go for excavation, uh, excavation to war one, it doesn't matter. And uh, we go for, I believe, radio detection. Where is radio detection? Here it is. Okay, radio detection, perfect. I actually think we now have enough for uh, centralized control, so we can finish our Air Force doctrines. You know, we were able to push here mostly because uh, we got that lucky encirclement here. Okay, one thing that I just noticed and it's important uh, is uh, we had no garrison on Greece, uh, but now we do need to change it to local police force. Everything else is okay, you can stay on no garrison. And the naval invasion is ready. They can start right away. Okay, they are defending the harbor, but hopefully they are not defending the other coastal regions here, so we can get more units in there. We got one. 
just uh, expand the front here a bit and if we can land with the other two we can disembark the other two divisions here we are going to try to encircle this guy actually going to push him okay he's attacking us see uh, he's attacking us uh, so that we cannot actually encircle him he, sh he should not be able to do so with the other one though let's see why is it taking you so long no where is the where is the third one Yo guys, what were you doing there? Go, go, go! Okay, we did get this uh, harbor. Although we did not get the encirclement, but that's fine. Now we can assign all of them there, and we can start a big offensive line. Something like... Something like this. We can just let them go. And as they remove their divisions from here, we can actually counter-attack from these two islands. No, 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 where do you think you're going? Just go there. Not much resistance here. Okay, and Japan is starting their um, stuff. Not sure what these guys were doing. Okay, Japan is doing more of their weird stuff. Got a lot of encirclements. Uh, the situation here is looking great. Uh, and Turkey is fairly close to giving up. Oh, it's me. Okay, we did get Turkey. Nice. Now for Turkey, uh, I usually take uh, uh, some of their territories here, uh, but I like to pop at the rest. I like to pop the rest uh, because uh, we spend less uh, uh, equipment, infantry equipment, and garrisons on uh, well on garrisons. Um, I also like to take their navy. Let's just uh, confirm and let's just continue. Okay, now it's Romania. As for Romania, we want to go with another naval invasion. We'll start a naval invasion from Istanbul and we will attack the northern coast of Romania. Uh, the idea is to uh, keep them busy uh, on the southern front and uh, open a new front in the north and we'll, we'll use the usual tactic. And if our collaboration government can uh, be finished before that, that would be nice. If not, uh, it's, it's going to be okay. And we're going to send this army for our naval invasion. So for now, you all go here. They will also take part in naval invasion, so you can go here. They can probably go from this harbor after we take something up there. The Alpini divisions can also go like here, and that's done. Then these 10 divisions, you should go to reinforce this front, and why not? You can also try to push a little bit. Uh, these divisions are also free now, so we will also send them up here to this front on this side. And these other divisions here can start being focusing on protecting this side, which is less likely to attack. As for these divisions, uh, gradually we'll send them back to Yugoslavia. We'll still not call Yugoslavia, we just send them back there so that uh, Romania sends more divisions to this front. We want to keep them busy on that front. As for our airplanes, we can send them back to uh, uh, this airport here and we can assign them back to the Balkans. Uh, for what concerns our fleet, we're going to assign the remaining part of the fleet, the new fleet actually, the one that we took from uh, Turkey, and then we're going to send them all to Istanbul. We also got enough political power so we can get our war industrialists. Give a quick, quick look at the buildings, everything is looking fine but we have some free slots so Let's start building more. Not sure why would you repair that before building my military factories, don't even think about it. Okay, everything is looking good. Now we are getting ready for the last part of our volcanic wars, which is the invasion of Romania. Let's start pl planning this uh, naval invasion, however. So we go from uh, Istanbul and we try to get uh, this harbor here. We'll try to get uh, this one here and we try to get uh, maybe from here why not this one and this one okay 
Now this naval invasion, depending on the situation, can be a bit tough uh, because uh, Romania likes to defend this uh, front uh, and these harbors a bit uh, more than uh, Greece uh, on Tur or Turkey defended theirs. Now we will send uh, these units on that front and we'll try to destruct the Romanian army. We'll try to trick them into thinking that we are we are going for an offensive uh, from uh, Yugoslavia. Moving our divisions, we didn't call Yugoslavia, we're not going to call Yugoslavia, but of course Romania doesn't know that. So maybe they will fall for it and move some of, it, of their divisions on this eastern front. This is actually the western front, however. Now we got our railway innovations. And after railway innovations, we go actually for Ministry of uh, Italian Africa. Uh, because we are about to fail, uh, or getting closer to fail, the mission to pacify Ethiopia. I don't want to fail that mission. See, I think they are falling for it. Uh, I think they are slowly moving more of their divisions on this side. But maybe in uh, Croatia it's time to go for local police force. Uh, we start uh, <clears throat> lowering the resistance on some of these uh, territories. Uh, and uh, we'll do the same with Libya. We'll just wait a bit longer. So while we wait for the naval invasion, let me just say one quick thing about the Turkish Empire. If you take all of it, that's cool. It's easy. And uh, there are no issues with that. I like to puppet it for two reasons. The first one is that uh, I don't need to spend infantry equipment support on the garrisons here. And uh, the second one is that they provide, uh, your puppets provide you with free divisions every once in a while. And I like to use their divisions and the Romanian divisions to cover this front here. Uh, there is a disadvantage, specifically with the Turkish Empire, however, with puppeting them. If you puppet them, they will, through an event, I believe, take this region here from France, peacefully. Which means that we will need to annex them before we can form the Roman Empire, because this is one of the coastal provinces uh, on the Mediterranean. We need all of them. So that's one disadvantage with the Turkish Empire. I don't find it to be much of a problem, because you can just send them some uh, uh, convoys, uh, equipment and stuff, you annex them, then you take it back. Uh, and as long as you have enough political power, and with this strategy we will have enough political power, that's not an issue. Now that being said, I think we can start our naval invasion now. We send our fleet there, and we start it. Oh, hopefully it will go well. Now, as we do that, we'll also start an offensive down here. And we're going to do that to keep as many of their units busy here as possible. So that our naval invasion has more chances of succeeding. Now they are defending the two harbors, that's to be expected. So I'm not surprised about that. But hopefully they are not defending this area here. So that we can send our units to encircle this guy. And then we can take that harbor. Unless... I did not do that. Now, if, he die, if I did not do that... Yeah, it looks like I missed this one. Uh, yeah, that's going to make our naval invasion a bit harder. There is still a chance that we get at least one of these two harbors with our current naval invasion. You, you, you really don't want to do it, I see. Uh, why? What's the, what's the problem with this? Uh, why can you not? Uh, why can you not do it? Actually, being able to push this, it would just be a bit faster if. Uh, okay, we are not going to take the military police uh, from there. And as for the focus, uh, we are going to go for the uh, new emperor of Ethiopia. Uh, we did get a lot of political power as well, and we are going to use it to change our conscription law. As of now, it doesn't seem necessary, but later on, we will need the extra manpower. So we're just going to take it from now. Yeah, I'm sorry I messed up this uh, naval invasion a bit. But at least we are going to take a bit longer and we're going to get this collaboration government done. And furthermore, we're actually able to push here, it seems. Uh, maybe. A bit less there. But if we if we take one, it's enough. Just just go there. Just go there, all of you. You're okay. 
and you can go there. Okay. And in addition to that, if we can help that guy, if we can help the invasion advancing there, expand the front a little bit. Okay, they are sending some reinforcements here. I'm going to stop them. Just paying a high price in terms of uh, lives here, but we are helping our naval invasion a lot. We are still going to get what we wanted to get. Just took slightly longer. You can use this as an example of the fact that I'm not very good at this game <laughs> yet, so I can make mistakes like this, but you can recover from them just calmly. I do like to save some of our army, army experience for later, so I'm not going to use that uh, army experience now. And here we're going to push like, like this. With them, however, I want to push a bit more on... You know, we'll, we'll use the same strategy, or more or less, that we used with uh, with Ethiopia, remember? So we are trying to get... Uh, you can go. We're trying to get the front to be as big as possible. And the Alpini divisions can try to go for Brazov. Okay, we're actually starting to have a deficit of rubber again. And this time, uh, I'm simply going to decrease the <coughs> production a little bit. I'm thinking about decreasing the production of... Uh, hmm, which one should we decrease? Um, uh, let's decrease this one actually by one. Okay, now we have three military factories, we really need them. I want more uh, metalled artillery, I want more support equipment, uh, and I want a lot more guns. So maybe we can get the guns a bit later, because these two are... A higher priority to bring to that level of production at least uh, okay we still don't have enough tungsten I see it's okay though it's just one uh, I'm not going to waste a civilian factory on it for now no 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 why are you going back no no you go for Cluj and you stop them here you take that I am manually uh, controlling the units of course every once in a while just to make sure they don't do anything very stupid but Again, this is another one of those situations where if you just let them go without doing anything, it will still be fine. But now the front is so big that they are definitely struggling to keep it. And we did take closure. I'm very happy about that. Cluj is a lot of war score. And we're waiting for Bucharest and at the same time we're waiting for our collaboration government. Looks like we have uh, kind of perfect timing here. Okay, we go for expand universities, so we continue going here with investments in Edison. As for the research, so we go for armored trains. Uh, of course, we need to establish Africa Orientale Italiana. This is nice. Now here we have an, a unique puppet, got everything. And uh, with that we will also complete our mission to pacify Ethiopia. Uh, now here... I do want uh, to start having a garrison in Libya, but we can use the colonial police now. Nice, a lot of political power, we're going to use it, and we're going to use this political power for... Yeah, at this point I usually like to give stuff to Mussolini. You see, you have these options here. So if he can get some uh, less damage to garrisons, uh, uh, resistance decay speed, uh, and factory out output, uh, those are all good uh, uh, perks, uh, so you can get them all like this. I, I do hope that this was the uh, collaboration government uh, that ended the war. I, I think so. We'll check it in a bit. Uh, it would be a shame if we missed it, but just a little bit. Now here I also like to puppet uh, Romania. I like to puppet Romania. Uh, we can take the, You can take the southern part of Romania and then puppet the rest. Uh, they also have a lot of uh, war reparation factories available in uh, uh, Moldova. And then you can simply pop it, free pop it the rest. Like this. This way, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. This way, actually, when the war uh, starts with Poland, uh, you will not have a border with Poland, which I find to be better. I don't want to waste uh, units uh, there. And we're also going to take their uh, navy. And with that, uh, we are done. Let's use the spies to reduce. Uh, the resistance a little bit, especially here, it's terrible, so... 
let's try to reduce it a bit. <clears throat> and as I was saying, uh, we did get some nice uh, oil in here. We are not we are not getting all of it yet, but it will help us uh, with uh, our fuel management. Uh, we basically spent the whole game without fuel, so finally we'll be able to get some. Okay, now this ends uh, the uh, first step of the tutorial, or the second step of the tutorial, if you consider the setup and Ethiopia to be the first. Um, the next one uh, is basically preparation. We're going to prepare for World War II, and the idea is to get to World War II much more powerful than we are now, much po more powerful than Italy really was. Uh, basically able to compete uh, and even defeat uh, the German Reich, Nazi Germany, in the war score. We want to have an uh, even, even war score or a slightly less war score than them at worst, at worst. Or even better war score if everything goes correctly. If we can get more war score, we'll be able to claim more stuff uh, during the at the end of the war in the peace conference.